snack Me and you gonna have a little chat about them Hi guys! So I am here today to do a book review and the book I'm going to be reviewing is Among Others which is by Joe Walton. I loved it. I thoroughly, thoroughly loved it. I've read one other Joe Walton book which was The Just City and I enjoyed that one but definitely not on the same level as this one. This one I loved. So let's talk about this book. It is a standalone as far as I know. It is a fantasy book and it definitely has some really great elements to it. We follow a young girl called Moore or Morwenna and she is a Welsh child who has a witch for a mother and has never really known her father. When we pick up the story which is all told in diary entries we see that she has just left her mother and she's actually gone to be with her father. She's been taken there by like child protection services because her mother is a bit crazy being a witch and all and she's taken off to live with her father who she's never met she doesn't know so he basically just packs her off to boarding school and that's that she is a massive reader and this is one of the most appealing bits of this book for me is that she more our main character is a huge science fiction and fantasy fan she loves all of the classics she loves all of the sort of more obscure titles and there are so many things dropped into this as like little hidden gems that I just really really enjoyed it. You could basically make an entire book list out of all the books that are name dropped in this and all the authors that are name dropped in this so that's really exciting especially if you are a science fiction and fantasy fan like me. It was just really really cool so that was awesome. Besides that the story itself is really captivating. It's told through diary entries of Moore and she's an excellent little writer. She definitely fills us in each day about what's been going on but she's also got a really bizarre way of thinking about things. She's not a normal child. She definitely thinks outside the box. She can see fairies too which is always helpful but actually not always helpful because fairies themselves are not always helpful creatures and they definitely step in sometimes and do not help whatsoever sometimes. So her troubles are not always sorted out by magic, she often has to deal with them through normal life and that's always hard. Things like fitting in at boarding school and trying to make friends with people halfway through the term when she's the new one, all of that sort of stuff is covered it's a really really great look at what it's like to go to a sort of boarding school and settle in and have to readapt your life after some big momentous thing happens in your family. All of that is covered but with the additional details of her being a reader and it being told in diary entries you get this really close personal link to the main character or at least I did and I definitely could relate to her massively which was really really great. She is a young girl, she's out on her own for the first time and all she has to rely on is magic which is not so reliable and her own intelligence and she is very intelligent. She does spot things happening around her that maybe she doesn't want to be involved in. She does steer clear of tricky situations. She is an intelligent child which is great and I really really enjoyed reading about a young empowered female character who is just really really fabulous. When we pick up the story all we know is that Moore is actually one of two. She used to have a twin sister but the twin sister has now died. We don't know exactly how just yet but we find out later on and we definitely think that her mother is involved somehow which is why she's been taken away. Obviously this is quite a traumatic scarring situation and that does have ramifications for our main character. I really enjoyed seeing how she dealt with a horrible situation and turned it into something quite wonderful and quite lovely and this is one of those books that will make you smile at times and will make you laugh and will make you enjoy the reading experience rather than just testing you or entertaining you. It will genuinely make you quite happy at times or at least it did for me and I really really like that about this book. It's definitely an enchanting little story. It moves along at a good pace because of the entries and the diary and the way that it's formatted and it's pretty easy to get into I must say. I quickly fell in love with the writing style and quickly fell in love with the characters. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I ended up just really, really loving it. I just, I couldn't put it down. Once I started reading it, I was hooked and I was really wanting to know what would happen next and I did power through it and love it. So 
very happy I read this and I really would recommend that you guys do too. If you have read it, let me know in the comments. If you haven't but you want to, let me know that in the comments too. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.